Hi there, I'm Jessica Rose from the London Jewellery School and today I'm going to show you how to make some jewellery. Great, so welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some of these lovely tassel necklaces and tassels are really in trend at the moment um, and I'm going to be showing you how to make some beaded tassels. So you can see I've got a couple here where um, the style that I've done is just a single large bead and then three strands of little crystals or tassel beads. The first step is to choose the design that you want for your tassel. So I usually choose a nice um, larger bead that I want to use and then pick something that complements that for the tassel beads. Um, and it depends on the size of the beads that you're using, how many you're gonna need. Um, but for this project, I'm gonna use um, I'm going to do it in two little sets, so you can see, actually this one's probably clearer to see with. Um, so I've got one set of three and one set of four, and I'm going to copy um, a similar pattern. So I've got one set of three, one set of four, and I'm going to be doing three lots of this. Now it only really works with smaller beads, because um, if you use large beads then they kind of get in each other's way and it doesn't fall nicely. It also only really works this particular project with three strands um, unless you have really tiny beads. Once you start going into five strands um, you get a kind of distortion around the tassel shape. So they're all the beads that I'm going to be using and once I've laid it out and I'm kind of happy with the design I can get started. Okay so now I'm going to make a loop for the top of my piece. So I'm just going to take a length of 0.8mm silver wire and I'm just cutting that off with some side cutting pliers um, and I'm going to take a pair of round nose pliers, so they're pliers with a round cone on each side and I'm going to go in about halfway with a little bit of wire out one end and I'm just going to wrap that round and under and then across. So I hope you can see, I'm gonna do a couple of wraps there just to secure it in place. If you've never done a loop before, they're a little bit tricky, but the more you do them, the easier they get. And I'm just going to snip that off as well. And some of our other tutorials cover loop making in a, a kind of slower, more detailed way and then using my chain nose pliers I'm just going to squish the end in. As you can see it's not 100% straight my loop so I'm just going to go back in with my pliers and just twist it slightly to make it nice and central and then I can always use some flat pliers to adjust any pieces. Then at the other end I'm going to thread in my large bead on the top and finally, I want to do the same process, but on the other side, ready for my tassels. So what I'm gonna do is take my round nose pliers, leave a tiny bit of a gap so that there's room for the wire to be wrapped there. Then just lift my wire up, up and under. And then for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to make any more adjustments just yet because what I'll do is I'll thread on my tassels and then I can close that wrap. So I'll put that to one side. So to make your tassels is really easy. You just take some 0.4 millimeter wire. So this is a much finer wire. Just gonna place it one end into my pliers towards the top end of the round nose pliers because I just wanna make a small loop. Then I'm going to, with my finger, push the small end up and round and then under to make a twist. If you've never done loop making before, we do cover it in some of our other tutorials as well. It's all about practice really. The more that you do, the easier it gets. And I'm just gonna cut off the tiny end and using some flat or slight nose pliers just cut that, squash that in. Always, every time you cut, you always want to squash the end in after. Great, and then I'm going to leave, I don't know, about five to seven centimeters and cut there. And then I'm going to place on four of my crystals.
Lovely, and then once you've put your four crystals on, I'm going to take the same round nose pliers and do exactly the same thing at the other end. So I'm making a loop, so I wanna leave a tiny gap um, between the beads and my pliers. Then take my wire on the other side, lift it up and over, and then down and under. And then what I normally do is once I've got the shape, I just hold my beads in place and just twist it to centralize that loop. And then I can continue wrapping. And I only need a couple of wraps to make that nice and secure in place. And this is such a handy technique, just this wrapping technique. You can make so many things once you've mastered this basic jewelry technique. And always cut and squidge, it's very important. <laughs> Great, so I've got my four beaded piece and now I need a three beaded piece to add to that. So I'm gonna take another piece of wire. So all of this I'm doing in 0.4 millimeter wire because I don't need a lot. So what I'm gonna do is about a centimeter, maybe slightly more from the end of the wire, put it in my round nose pliers again, make a loop, um, but leave a tiny little gap and then take my pliers out and thread one of my loops into that gap. So I'm just kind of capturing it in place. Then I put my pliers back in as if it were never there and use the little wire to wrap around the big one again. And that's how I kind of capture that together. Cut and squidge, very technical term. <laughs> And always if you see that your loops aren't centralized and you want them to be, just hold it with a with a plier and then just use your fingers to twist the wire out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna add three onto this one. So this is gonna be like the top of my tassel. Great, and then all I need to do is make another loop at the top. So place my pliers in, leave a little bit of a gap, wrap over, under and round, and twist a couple of times. And always with these things, the first time you do it, it can take quite a while, but once you get used to it, this will become like second nature, these twisting techniques, and it becomes really simple and easy to do. And then I just take my pliers and tuck the end in. Great, so there we have our first tassel. So I'm gonna go ahead and make three of those and then I'm gonna show you how to attach them to your piece. So now that I've made my three tassels and they're all ready to go, I'm ready to attach it to my bead. So I take my piece that I've made earlier, then I'm ready to thread on my three pieces and I'm gonna make sure as I thread them on, I've got the three -er at the top and the fora at the bottom. So I'm just gonna thread all three of those on and then just adjust the wire so that I can fit them in. You should be able to see that I have my three tassels dangling down with the three and then the four and that it's all ready to go before securing it. Then I just put my round nose pliers, I can put them across the wire this time because all I want to do is wrap so I'm going to wrap this side a couple of times just like I did for the top and if need be I can adjust the loop by putting my round nose pliers back in and twisting it then when I'm happy that it's all secure I'm going to use my side cutters to just cut the excess wire off and my pliers to just gently push the edge in. Great, so then the last thing I need to do is align my two loops because you'll see at the moment that they're facing different directions. So I'm going to take some flat nose pliers and my snipe nose pliers and just twist them so that they're both facing the same direction. And that is our tassel. Then all we need to do is take a length of silver chain, thread it through the top loop, 
and you can buy bought chains or you can buy lengths of chain and attach your own clasp to them and that is it it's as simple as that we have our finished tassel piece and as you can see you can do all different designs and shapes and colors uh, like these blue ones that I've done earlier and this crystal one so it's really nice to have a play around try out different designs see different pieces that you like they look great on a long chain kind of dangling down uh, but also quite nice on a short chain depending on what your preference is so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial as usual all the tools and materials needed are provided in the links below and if you enjoyed and would like to learn more, then hop on over to our site, which is jewelryschoolonline.com for professional online jewelry courses that can help you develop skills to become a jeweler or to make for fun at home as a hobby. All of our courses are based on the site and we look forward to meeting you over there soon.